Hey guys, remember me? Yeah, the funny Castle Crashers guy. It turns out I'm not dead. Here we are again with no defense challenge part three. Let's get right into it. This adventure begins where many do in your local Walmart, also known as the Industrial Castle, where inside I was assaulted by various members of the working class. These enemies were a piece of cake as I'm pretty good at this video game. The traps were also easy to avoid as I've done this a few times already. And they're still not that bad even if this was your first playthrough. This level was pretty enjoyable to play as it is every time I do a playthrough on it. Probably one of the best levels in all of Castle Crashers. However, there were a few problems especially on this run. For example, when they called upon the manager, aka the beefy brute. I died a few times here but all you can do is just kind of run around and throw axes at him until he dies. Pretty easy. We then move on to the boss fight of the level, the CEO of Walmart himself. This boss is fairly simple. You just need to destroy all these weird pillar things, destroy the hand, and shoot the guns. I died maybe once here because of the stupid flamethrower, but besides that, this fight was very straightforward. After defeating the giant robot, I proceeded onto the balcony where I killed the industrial prince in the most embarrassing way I know how. Now, with all three ambiguous metal objects in my possession, it was time to sail the waves of the seven seas. However, on my peaceful calming trip, I was interrupted by a gang of hooligans who wanted to steal my spices from my very back. However, thanks to my knowledge of the castle doctrine, they were sentenced to a watery grave for eternity. This is also one of my favorite levels. It's short, it's sweet, and it doesn't feel overcomplicated. 10 out of 10 would play again. Ended up arriving in Iraq, which was puzzling to me because I thought the US had pulled out of this place three years ago. Oh well, I'm here now, so I might as well pillage and conquer while I have the opportunity. I introduced many insects to the butt of my hammer and talked to some locals, and some more locals, and a few more. This level has too many enemies. I also stopped by to kill some non-locals, aliens. After being abducted by these aliens, I cleverly escape my laser prison and make a dash for the nearest exit after sabotaging the control panel. Now I hear you asking, will he make it? Will he survive? Well, you'll just have to find out on the next episode of the No Defense Challenge. Please leave a like and subscribe. We are 105 subscribers away from me making money on my videos, so I'd really appreciate it. Thank you for 900 subscribers. I don't know why you guys subscribed while I was, you know, on a two-month break, but, you know, I appreciate it. Here are some top comments from last video. If you'd like to be featured in the next video, please leave a comment and subscribe, and you might be in the next one. If you'd like to suggest videos, please join the Discord. Link is in the description. And with all that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.